Hello everyone, it is Mr. The Epic Ninja here. You're probably wondering why I'm speaking like this or whatever or something or I don't even know. Um, so basically, um, what happened is my recording drive ran out of space, so I made three videos, uh, the Rocket League one, uh, uh, Let's Play Episode 5, Let's Play Episode 6. I'm, I finished those off, uploaded them, and now there's plenty of space left. Um, but in the meantime, what I did is, it's been like three Terraria days or whatever since then. So, uh, a lot of stuff has happened, just nothing majorly important. No joke, I actually managed to get three Blood Moons or something. As you can see here, I have a Dripler and a Blood Zombie banner. Um, and it was like consecutive three Blood Moons. It was absolutely crazy and annoying. Um, but in those days, I basically just did fishing and stuff. So, I haven't made the uh, magic cuffs yet or anything with demonite. So, that's what I'm about to do right now. So, if we go over to here, we have the demonite. Uh, I don't remember if the traveling merchant came or not, but he didn't, he didn't like, uh, have anything that useful, I don't believe. Oh, there's some more demonite somewhere. It's like eight bars, nothing too important. So, I'm going to make the uh, mana regen band and the magic cuffs. Oh, yeah, that's what I got. I got a shark tooth necklace there. Uh, as you can see, angry shark tooth necklace increases penetration by five or whatever. Not entirely sure how that works. However, moving on, I've just crafted the nightmare pickaxe, which is an upgrade that I've needed for quite a while. Um, uh, I don't remember if I've got the light span or not. Honestly, don't. Uh, I don't need the Fisher of Souls. No, you don't need the Demon Bow. I'll just make the Shadow Armor. Don't need the Yo-Yo either at this point in time. Uh, because I have the Amazon, which is better. My next plan is to go to the desert and mine up some of that Desert Fossil. Which I think that might be a good idea for some reason. Oh, how much defense do I have with this? 21 defense. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, I'll set up... I'll set up, like, mannequins and stuff later. Anyway, it's time to head underground to get some fossils. Yay! Move. Oh, nice. All right. Um, where, where are the fossils? Here we go. Here's some fossils. So, I won't show myself mining the majority of this. Uh, yeah, I might, I might speed it up. I don't know really what I'll do, but yeah. So we're going to be, uh, if you guys don't know how this works, what you need is an extractinator and some desert fossils, and once you've got the desert fossils, you put them in the extractinator, and you have a chance to receive sturdy fossils. Now, not j uh, that's not the only thing I'm, I want from this, I'd like some amber, uh, that would be pretty awesome too, because then I can make crate potions, one, and uh, there's some other things I can make with amber, I forgot, oh, I like amber gem spark blocks, etc. Yeah. So, the desert fossil basically gives a use for the desert for now, and oh my god, this is a huge patch of it. I'm not entirely sure if it actually comes up with spool. Oh, that's a lot of desert fossil. Sorry. Um, I'm not sure if it uh, comes up with Spelunka potions or not, but oh my god. Wow. This is the biggest patch of desert fossil I've ever seen.
nearly 700 desert fossils. Surely that's more than enough. I won't ever need to use the extractinator for anything again. This rate. Wow. Hundred and seventy-two. All right, that's plenty. So I don't know which which uh what I'll actually end up using, uh, whether it will be the bee or the fossil armor. But at the moment, uh, we'll we'll, we'll just see how much thirty fossil we get, because surely it'll be more than enough for everything ever invented in Terraria. All right, let's grab our thirty fossil, put it up here. Let's auto click this. All right, two sturdy fossil, three. All righty, guys. So we've gone through. Oh yeah. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. We got an amber mosquito, guys. So let's quickly put that on. We have the Velociraptor pet, which is awesome. We have some amber, some other random ores that I'm never going to use, and the sturdy fossil. So before I make anything out of. Uh, that sturdy fossil. I'm just gonna make all the bars that I need. Um, get rid of that ore. Five lead. Nah. Uh, where where are the other bars? All right. Let's finish off the bars. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna start making stuff. Uh, we should probably check with the guide what Amber does. So I'm going to do that. Guide. Crafting. Amber. Okay, so I can make the Amber Staff. No Amber Gem Splat Blocks. Yes. Crate Potions. Yeah. Whoa! That's a lot just for a crate potion, but luckily I can make all of that. So, oh, is that enough? Yeah, it should be enough. Then I can make loads of bone javelins and throwing knives. So that'll that'll all be fine. Uh, what's the quest for today? Caught in Skylex. Ah, uh, nah, Skylex too far away. Can't be bothered getting that. Can't remember if I found that on camera or not. I was just flying around with my uh, B. All right, fossil armor. Let's see what we can get. Um, same amount of defense. Fifty seven. Fifty. Okay, so basically, B nades are really powerful now, from what I can gather. There we go. Okay, this mount is really good for getting bee, uh, for getting butterflies. That's that's a bonus. Quick stack, put that away. Yeah, all right. Uh, what else can I make? I have some steady fossil left, so I think I'll make the bone javelins. Uh, no, nah, I like these more. We go 165. Awesome. Yeah, the uh, the bone javelins are much better. So I'll put those there alongside my star fury. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I like I like having the three Bs though, and like with summoning potions, etc., etc. I can get that up to five Bs, like pre hard mode, and that's really powerful. All right, there we go. Got some death lead, moon glow, amber. There are the crate potions. Alright, uh, there we go. Saving some for other uses. Uh, I'll put my crate potions up in here. And now I have loads upon loads upon loads of crate potions that I might use at some stage. So, there we go. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to go up to the Sky Islands and get rid of some of those sunplate bricks so that I can make sunplate houses. Uh... And that shouldn't be too difficult, seeing as I have the honey bee mount and uh, ropes all the way over to the Sky Islands. Maybe even go to the Sky Lake. Not sure. Anyway, let's do this.
Alright, so as I said, uh, I think it's a sky mill, yeah, okay. Uh, at a sky mill, you can make sunplate bricks, which is awesome. So, uh, there we go. I'm going to start with the building of the house. And you guys can let me know what you think of it after it is done. I hope you will all like it. But I'm sure you will, because, you know, my... My, yeah, te tech is Terraria building, you know. Alrighty guys, so here is the finished product. I hope you guys like it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure about it at this point, but I think it looks alright. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, do the daily fishing quest. I need to get the Fishertron, which I just got. Uh, in case you guys haven't realised already, this section, the audio is dubbed over because I had my mic on mute at the time. But uh, yeah. So I'm just doing a little bit of fishing, and I don't want to waste my uh, my fishing potions. Oh my god, got a golden crate. Oh my god. So yes, I have got the uh, the quest. I've completed the quest, but I uh, what I'm doing is I don't want to waste my sonar potions, so I'm just going to continue fishing, and I'll meet you guys back up at the surface. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, sick. So I can make the Chakron balloon now. Awesome. I might just do that just to show it off. That, that, that's pretty good. I didn't realize you could get those underground, actually. Where'd he go? Up here? No, come on. Oh, paint spray. Yes. Um. Uh, yeah, I gotta grab that. <sighs> yep, yeah. okay. It's material, so uh, I've got what I need to put that with. Alright, Architect Gizmo Pack. So, if I see any of these things, I'll, I have to make sure to uh, buy them so I can make the Architect Gizmo Pack. Alright, Sharkron Balloon, so I can have... All of this on at the same time, I guess? I don't know. Go. Anyway, I, I, need to, I, I need to get some more money. So, maybe, just maybe, that might involve me going back to the jungle, which I don't want to do at all now. <laughs> that was... that was all. <laughs> no, I, I, I'll, I'll work on the, uh, on the mob farm first. And I'll try to make it AFK. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to end the episode here. Right before we go and defeat Skeletron, we're going to start off the epi next episode with a bang. Fighting Skeletron. It's going to be all good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Woohoo. Get ready for it, guys. Anyway, like I said at the end of the last episode, I have picked what I thought was the awesomest comment from the previous video. And I'm going to showcase it to you guys here. I'm going to read it out. And... <laughs> Make sure to leave your awesome comments for the same thing to happen uh, in the next video. Anyway, I'm going to read it out. So the awesomest comment is from user Michael Adams, and he says, Where does honey come from? Bees nuts! Ha! Got him! Ha!